All right, these are some additional notes for section 10.2 that you can add to your spiral notebook. So in section 10.2, we're talking about some of the Excel functions. Um, one in particular is the if statement. The if statement allows you to make a decision and place different values in a box depending on the outcome. So the parts of the if statement, the first part is the logical test. It's the, the decision that you wanna make um, using inequalities. The second part of the if is the true statement or what's going to happen if the statement is true. And the last part of the if is the part of the statement that will happen if it's false. So some of the booleans that you have for um, your logical test, you can say something is less than or greater than. To do less than or equal to, you have to do them side by side greater than or equal to is side by side, equal to, and then the really neat one is the not equal. And that's just the less than and greater than symbol side by side. So our first statement, if three is less than or equal to three times two. So we're gonna do the mathematics, three times two is six. So three is less than or equal to two. This is what's gonna happen if it's true this is what's going to happen if it's false. So since 3 is less than 6, it's true, so it's going to put 15 in the box. Okay, here's another one. Um, it's going to do the 9 minus 4 and get 5. It's going to do 4 times 3 divided by 4 and get 3. And it's going to compare them. If 5 is equal to 3, this is what's going to happen if it's true. This is what's going to happen if it's false. So since five is not equal to three, it's gonna output the job. Okay, the next one, um, nine minus one raised to the third power. So remember order of operations, it's gonna do one to the third power first, which is one, nine minus one is eight, and then it's gonna do two plus six next, that's eight, and it's comparing them. If eight is not equal to eight, this is what happens if it's true. This is what happens if it's false. Since that's not true, it's going to do the Sally part. Okay, number four. If six times five is less than or equal to two times three times six. Six times five is 30. Two times three times six is 36. So 30 is less than or equal to 36 is true. So it's going to print out the who. Okay, on the next one, what we're talking about here is what we call nested if statements. And that's when you have one if statement inside of another. So this is what's gonna happen if it's true. The 12 is the part that's true. If it's false, it's gonna do another if statement right here. So let's do our logical test. So five is greater than or equal to six. That's a false statement. So it's going to come over here and it's going to do this logical statement. If 23 divided by 2, which is 11.5, is greater than 4 times 3, which is 12, that's a false statement. This is what's going to happen if this if is true. This is what's going to happen if it's false. So since 11.5 is not greater than 12, it's going to print the 71. All right, here's another one. Um, same idea, so 7 minus 4 is 3, 5 times 4 divided by 5 is 5, good is what's going to happen if it's true, if it's false, it's going to do this new inequality or this new if statement right here, so 3 is not equal to 5, so it comes over here, and it does this logical statement, 3 raised to the third power is 27, this is 27, they're not equal, that's false. So it doesn't do nest, but it does job. All right, this one is a lot more complicated. So you'll notice that we have the if statement. This part is the true, and all of this from here to the end is the false. And then inside this, second if you have a true and all of this part here is false and inside that if you have a true and then all of this inside of here is the false 
and then inside of that you have a true and then all of that's false so we have to do it step by step so starting from the outside 5 minus 1 to the third is 4 4 uh, 1 plus 3 is 4 are they not equal that's false so it goes to this if statement is 9 less than 2 that's false so it goes to this if statement is 3 greater than 7 that's false so it goes to the if, this if statement is 6 greater than 30 and that's false so it goes to Sally and Sally would be the final output so this is again a nested if statement all right, number eight. Here we're talking about the owner of a mail order catalog wants to charge a shipping fee of 4% for the subtotal unless the subtotal is more than $100, in which case the fee is free. So here we have a small Excel spreadsheet and the subtotal is in cell B1. So we want to check to see if B1 is less than 100 or greater than 100. So I'm going to check to see if B1 is less than or equal to 100. That's my logical test. If it's less than 100, they get charged a 4% shipping fee. So it would be B1, whatever the total is, times 4%. If it's not less than 100, that means there's no fee. So you would put false here would be 0. Now another way that you could actually write this is you could do the opposite. If B is greater than 100, so that means that if it's more than 100, they don't get any shipping fee. But it, if it's false, if it's less than 100, then it would be B1 times 4%. So it could be rewritten, it could be written either way and you'll get the same result. Okay, our last example. Um, this time they want to charge 10% um, if the subtotal is less than 150 and 4% if it's less than 360 and then all other orders get free shipping. So if it's between 0 and 150 then that means they're going to get 10% and if it's between 151, we'll just round it off, and 360 or 359 then that means they're going to get 4%. And if it's 360 or greater, then that means they don't have to charge anything. So we're going to do the same thing here. So we're looking at B1. If B1 is less than or equal to 150, then they're going to, if it's less than or equal to 150, they get 10%. So it's B1 times 10%. If this is false, then I'm going to look at the second condition here. If B1 is less than 360, then that means they get a 4%. Otherwise, they don't get any charge. So I hope this helps.